14, Animal Smackdowns. Number 14, earning its stripes, this zebra was crossing Kenya's Mara River when a hungry crocodile suddenly emerged from the water and started snapping at it with its razor sharp teeth. The croc managed to wound the zebra, but the zebra scored a rare victory for any prey of the fearsome Nile crocodile by threatening the croc with its bared teeth, and the big reptile actually retreated. That gave the zebra enough time to gallop to the shore and escape. Most of the time, these stories end with the zebra as the predator's lunch, but this one really earned its stripes. Number 13. More bull. As you likely know by now, these sorts of lists are required to include at least one segment regarding bullfighters, so here you go. This Spanish matador was gored three times during a bullfight in Madrid. 26-year-old Pablo Balando suffered injuries to his leg and chest, as well as a broken rib when the bull charged him. He was taken to a nearby hospital in serious condition. Wonder if he learned his lesson. The matador, that is. Number 12. Cry wolf. One wolf wandered into the wrong territory. You want to guess who the trespasser is? The larger black timber wolf took exception to his gray counterpart invading his space and let him know about it. German photographer Ingo Gerlach caught some of these fearsome images at a wildlife park in northern Bavaria. Check out the glaring eyes and fearsome bangs on the animals. Even though it looks like curtains for the trespasser, the gray wolf got through the episode alive. Once the timber wolf had made its point, the gray wolf was allowed to slink away, with no injuries except for a bruised ego, perhaps. Number 11. So here's a different kind of bullfighting. In the Gulf Emirates state of Fujaira, there is no matador in these types of bullfights, and you won't find any bedding. And organizers claim the animals are never killed at the end. Actually, the animals are pitted against each other in this hugely popular sport, and owners reap great profits from the practice. Winning bulls can attract offers up to $163,000 from traders. Proponents of this practice claim that the bulls are better cared for and more humanely treated than in Spanish bullfighting. But opponents say it's just another form of animal cruelty. What do you think? Number 10. Birds of a feather. Around 30 vultures got the feathers ruffled in a food fight of sorts. Wildlife photographer Roy Gallitz captured some impressive images of the birds as they clawed and pecked at each other, often clashing in mid-air in an effort to claim their carcass. The Serengeti region has five types of vultures. Usually, one dominant vulture from each group will lead the attack, and the victor has fist dibs on devouring the carcass. Number 9. Fast food. So remember the story about the zebra escaping from the crocodile. Here's another unlikely outcome of predator chasing prey. In this case, it was a cheetah closing in on a gazelle. There's not much that can outrun the cheetah, the fastest land animal with speeds recorded up to 75 miles per hour. But this gazelle didn't have to rely on speed. After the big cat stalked and pounced on its victim, the gazelle kicked so furiously with its legs that the cheetah must have been seeing spots and released its grip. The gazelle dashed away so fast that the cheetah ended up having to look for another meal. Number 8. Not exactly horseplay. These stallions are taking part in a tradition that's said to be over 500 years old, but a lot of people think the tradition should just be over, period. The stallions fight over a mare in this tradition of the Chinese New Year, which is practiced in many small villages in southern China. Onlookers place bets on the winner, and many people record the event with their phones and cameras. People who take part in this tradition insist that the horses are well cared for, but animal activists roundly condemn the practice. Number 7. The Once and Future King. It lasted less than a minute, but this epic clash of wildlife icons shows just how precious water can be on the African plains. The male lion faces off against a young bull elephant in a bid to control a freshwater hole for his family. Photos by Jan Rabicek document the brief contest, showing how the animals first square off and then charge at each other. The elephant gave up its efforts to scare off the lion after the big cat just wouldn't be intimidated. The lion turned out to be the king of the plains, on that day anyway. Number 6. 
Hug it out. Think these two polar bears are about to really let the fur fly in this photo? Or are they just trying to hug it out? Hope the one on the right used a good mouthwash. How would you caption this photo exactly? Number 5. This might qualify as something you don't see every day, or is that seal every day? It's a picture of a seal bull swinging around an octopus. Did you guess that? Number 4. Angry birds. Guess they're called a murder of crows for a reason. The blackbirds were caught mobbing a barn owl to drive it away from the territory. Mobbing is an instinct animals follow in which they collectively attack predators in order to protect the young. Normally nocturnal, the owl is slower during the day and made for an easy target. And as you can see in the pictures, the owl is starkly contrasted against the sky and the mob or murder of crows. For the record, the owl did manage to escape and the crow's young survived for another day. Number three. A match of mighty mites. The trails of Mount Spokane in Washington State was the site of a match between mighty mites indeed. A long-tailed weasel ambushed a Colombian squirrel, attacking from behind and knocking it to the ground. The two went at it, tooth and claw, until the presence of wildlife photographer Christine Haynes startled the weasel who raced away. At least she got some good pictures in the meantime. Looks like this death match ended in a draw. Not that the squirrel is complaining. Number two, my house, my rules. This is how two male southern elephant seals size each other up before throwing down, and it can be quite a bloody battle. The big guys can weigh over 6,000 pounds each and measure 16 feet long. After roaring at each other for a bit, the Antarctic seals will slam into each other, using sharp teeth to cut and gouge their opponent's skin, likely leaving each other a bloody mess. But what's at stake? Well rights to a harem containing 30 female seals, enough to make any male elephant seal all worked up. And after successfully defending his harem from other males looking for a mate, understandably the winner can afford to act a bit cocky. Number one, gut reaction. A helicopter pilot found a bizarre scene in the Florida Everglades, the carcass of a six foot alligator protruding from the midsection of a 13-foot Burmese python. The snake obviously overestimated how much it could chow down, but how did this gruesome scene take place to begin with? Well, part of the explanation may lie in the fact that alligators are known to be able to slow the heart rate to two beats per minute. Experts think that when the python constricted the gator, the reptile may have shut down. When the python heard the heart stop, it started to swallow its meal, and then the gator woke up and clawed and chewed its way out from the belly of the beast. <laughs>